Hey guys, I'm Yasif Khan and today I'm going to show you how to build a strong chest like me with these five exercises. So I'm going to show you how to lift properly with the right form and then the weight is not that important that the form is. But if you follow the form, you will start lifting heavy weight eventually. If you are doing it properly with the right form, eventually you'll start lifting more and more weight and you'll have a bigger chest with the right shape. It shows your manliness, it has given you a proper frame of your body. And of course, girls love it as well. So the first exercise which is uh, Inclined Dumbbell Chest Press which is one of my favorite exercises. So Inclined Dumbbell Press is uh, very important for your upper chest which usually people have a uh, problem with it and even I had it like 10 years almost I was confused like why it's not growing. So I started doing like 5 sets of between 15 to 8 reps of Inclined Dumbbell Press as my starter. So the form for this uh, inclined dumbbell press is like you do it slow, keep it in control, don't try to lift too heavy if you cannot control it. Usually I do a squeeze on the top and hold on the bottom. I start with 15 reps, so I just activate my muscle, my pecs in the first set and then I start lifting heavy and then come down to 10 reps. Do it very slow, hold a bit and then slowly up, not like just like keep trying to push the weight you know. So if you're doing it, do it properly if you want to grow. I mean, I got the results, I'm sure you will get the results as well. So this is uh, flat bench dumbbell flies. It's very important to activate your pecs again. And because as we have just done, incline dumbbell press that was the compound movement and this is the isolation this isolates your pecs more and then whatever you do after this you will even feel more and it, everything will become even harder so don't focus too much on lifting heavier weight because trust me if you have done these two exercises properly the third one will be very difficult for you with the weights your muscles are like really burning at this time like you can see my pecs are really burning at the moment. So let's say the range of the movement for the flies is uh, that you do not put your elbows too low or too out. It should be in the line of like a little below your shoulder and do not keep your hands too straight. Just slight bend and not too much bend otherwise it will become uh, press. So if it's a fly then it has to be a little bit open and then just not completely straight. Just be very careful when you're smashing the dumbbells together. Just hold it right there and then as you can see right now, this thing, you, you will work like a, like, a, like you pose. Even if you're lifting light, but you're working on point. When you're going down, try to go slow, slow, slow. Hold there, pause there for like two seconds and then start coming back up like this. So you need to like constantly focusing on your pecs. So the third exercise is a flat bench dumbbell press. This is for your entire pecs, for the full chest, upper, middle and lower. Many people do this exercise in the beginning also, but in the beginning you should always work on your weaker points. So my weaker point was inclined chest. When I do this in the third, so I feel more in my pecs, I do it with the right form. Again, I don't try to lift as heavy as possible, but I try to do it properly with the right form and whatever the weights I can lift, that's okay for me. But as I am doing it right now, so you, my pecs are really activated right now. Right form for uh, bench dumbbell press is like the same. You should not keep your elbow too out or too much in. It should be in the middle. And take it slowly down the weight and then hold there, pause there for two seconds. And slowly up and squeeze again on top so that you can actually feel your all the fibers. And from internal to external chest, you need to feel it all. 
So this I do usually five sets again because this is the number three exercise. So I would do five sets of 10 to eight reps. But the last set is usually 25 to 30 reps. So I drop the weight and then do more reps. So you, I can really feel the, feel the pump and the blood circulation in, in my muscles. This is the number four exercise, which is cable crossover. I love this exercise so much because this works literally for your entire chest, especially the deeper inside, which you see, you know, like how you get the density in your chest. That's because of this exercise, which is very important and I love it. Don't drop your elbow down and then do like this. Otherwise, literally it's coming on your traps and your back. It has to go up so you keep the tension on your pecs stretch properly not like this so keep the tension in your chest and then keep it bring it forward and squeeze hard and as hard as you can like you're posing your most muscular pose you know so if you're doing the most muscular that's how that's how you do it right so initially you start with slow and then you take it all the way up slow pause for one second and then slowly bring it down and squeeze at least for three seconds. You can see how I'm doing it. I'm trying to squeeze as much as possible. If you are a beginner, then do it even slower. Pause for three seconds there and then slowly bring it down so you understand the, the meaning of muscle and mind connection. So your muscles are working properly and then you know like you're actually feeling what you're doing. So this is the one of my best finisher dips for your chest. So usually when you're doing the dips, be very careful because if your elbows are going to end, it's coming all on your triceps. So make sure that your elbows are out, you're feeling right there in your decline chest. So usually if you're doing it in the end of the chest routine, it works on your, especially on your decline, this part which you can see right here but at the same time it works all over your chest also it's a very good finisher it gives you the best pump and again do not lean your back like this because then it becomes uh, again it's coming on your triceps so always keep a little bit you're bending a little bit forward so you're getting the proper swipe you know in your chest the proper flow so always be a little bit forward when you're doing even on this machine or the parallel bar machine as well just make sure that you are not trying to lift too heavy because this is the finisher. You're not supposed to lift heavy in this. You're supposed to lift heavy in the beginning. But if you can hold your form on point, you can go as heavy as possible. Mainly, it's, it's all about the form. This is just polishing your chest. It gives you a better definition and better pump. So this is the last exercise and I hope you enjoyed the video. And please subscribe to the YouTube channel and I hope I see you soon.